Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the women's flyweight bout between Andrea Lee versus Montana De La Rosa too. So they fought before in the first one, um, Andrea Lee, uh, yeah, Andrea Lee won a pretty close decision. Like Montana De La Rosa definitely was having success with the wrestling. It was a battle of, you know, finding those spaces to strike and, you know, get her success off. And that was enough to get her to win. So close first fight, um, Andrea Lee won. I'm making her name different, like Andrea Lee. Andrea Lee won the first one. And how do I feel about this rematch? I'm going Andrea Lee. Um, I'll go Locom. Locom just to beat Montana De La Rosa. Because it's still an interesting matchup. I still don't feel like um Andrea Lee has such like shut down wrestling defense or can get up to her feet so well. And it's not like the first fight wasn't close. Not like this fight, you know. I don't know, it's not like someone is so much in a better spot. I feel like at one point Andrea Lee was, you know, she was kind of you know finding a new stride, but now she's kind of dipping back down. Montana De La Rosa feel like she really just has not evolved at all. So, yeah. But is, is that enough for me to say, oh, average or high confidence? Um, Andrea Lee to beat her again? Not really. Because it could either be a case where judges depend, you know, pick and choose how they want the fight to go. It could be a fight where Andrea Lee, you know, picks her part, but she spends like seven minutes of the 15 minute fight on, you know, the bottom. And they're like, oh, we don't give it to um, Montana De La Rosa. Like they, they'll pick and choose how they judge. So sometimes they'll, They'll be favor wrestling over the striking. And sometimes they'll favor somebody get laid on for 14 minutes, but they landed like five good strikes. The whole fight ain't over. They'll give them, them the decision. So you never know how to judge that. Sometimes they'll be heavily in favor of the wrestling. Sometimes they'll be heavily in favor of the striking. You know, you definitely have those fights where guys get rocked and all they do is lay on somebody for 15 minutes, land like five significant strikes. And that's about it. And they just got picked, mopped up and they didn't do no damage and get no submission attempts. Couldn't really advance and nothing. They get to win, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm expecting a similar fight. I feel like uh, Andre Lee's going to do a good job defending wrestling and Montana De La Rosa. I think Montana De La Rosa is going to come with the intensity, trying to wrestle, trying to get a control time, trying, you know, by, by however means she can get it. But I feel like the story of the fight, who's doing the more significant damage, is going to be Andre Lee, who's really dictating the pace of the fight, is going to be Andre Lee, you know, landing the more significant damage, you know, finding those spaces once again to get off offense. And that will be the deciding factor in this one. So in this one, I got Andre Lee via decision.